So today I thought I'd take you with me on a few different hunts that I've had over the past few weeks and show you some very cool rares that I have found recently. And we're going to start off with this Melanistic Red Deer, level 6. And first off, I'd like to do a shout out to That's Whack for inviting me onto this map to uh, find this guy and show him to you. Now, the spawn rate for Melanistic Red Deer did increase a couple of updates back, but they are still extremely rare to find. And very, very beautiful. <laughs> Look at that guy. Can you imagine finding one of these in a legendary? Oh man. That would be, that would be my perfect animal. So here we have a Melanistic level 6 Red Deer. Unfortunately, it's just a silver, but we'll take it nonetheless. And uh, we took them from 89.23 meters with the 30 odd 6. Double long. So this is just a few days ago. I was running around the bottom right lake in Quattro and just doing some spotting with my crappy rangefinder <laughs> that I cannot wait to swap out for binoculars, but I reset my account. So that's going to be a little while, so I have to make do with what I have. But I still managed to spot this guy, and what we have here is a piebald roe deer. You can always tell with that bright white that something isn't quite right. That's just not a common. So I'm pulling out my solican. There you can see him better. Isn't he beautiful? Hasn't got a clue that we're here. Now, excuse my wobbly shooting. <laughs> this is what happens when you're at a lower level. But you can still get the good animals. And that looked like a pretty decent shot. And down he goes. Let's zing over there and have a look at him. Now, unfortunately, he seems to have landed rather poorly. He seems to have a rock in his face. But let's try and get a better look. Oh man, they're just so beautiful. Look at the look at the fur on it. And look at his antlers. He's a pretty nice one. It's too bad we can't see his face, but let's have a look. And we have a gold piebald level 2 roe deer. 29.65 kgs. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of my favorite finds to date. And the story here is pretty interesting. I started out on the top right side of the map and started coming down, trying to spot as many buffaloes as I could. And I spotted a legendary buffalo running away. Now it was black. So I started tracking and this is what I found. It's not the same one. So at this point I'm pretty confused, but I'm like, hey, there's an albino legendary buffalo. Now the crazy thing is, if you notice the guy he's with, he has huge horns too. And now unfortunately I did not spot it for the video, I wish I had of, but there are two legendary buffaloes here together. Look at that. Look at the horns. Now, the other one did end up being a troll, but I was just so excited to find this albino legendary that I didn't even care about the other one. Not at all. I mean, I can always come back and look for him, but the albino, that was what I was interested in, and pretty much only that. Man, look at the horns on him. So I'm going to shoot him with my 300. I have my meter set to 150, and I'm looking for at least a single lung. That'll do the job. Now with any animal, you can take two shots on them before losing integrity. And here he is. And he is a diamond. Look at him. He is a beauty. And I am very lucky to get a diamond out of this guy because his weight is pretty low. 1171.95 kgs. Back in the old scoring system, buffalo, water buffaloes went diamond at 1177. So this would have been a troll. But he had a high enough trophy rating. 171.4 and we got that one lung from 116 meters. Well, that just about wraps up our video for today. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.